economists use different names for different measures of profit depending on the types of costs being considered. Explicit costs are costs that have easily identifiable dollar amounts. A good rule of thumb is that these costs should have a receipt that shows it was paid. This would be really valuable for an accountant so that they could track and record each dollar leaving the company. Implicit costs, however, include costs that have been given up and are not easily assigned a monetary value. If you wait in line to get a free ice cream, you may have zero explicit costs, but your time in that line could have been spent doing something else. That time you spent in line is an implicit cost. For accountants, they really only care about costs with receipts. As such, the amount left over from total revenue once explicit costs are subtracted is known as accounting profit. Accounting profit is total revenue minus total explicit costs. Accounting profit is the measure used to compare the financial performance of companies, prepare financial statements, and to determine income taxes. Accounting profit is an important number for investors and others who may be interested in a company, but doesn't shed light on the complete financial position of the company. There are many other things a company may spend money on or invest in that are not considered as part of accounting profit. The value that economists care about is what's left over from revenue after accounting for explicit and implicit costs. That value is known as economic profit. Economic profit is calculated as total revenue minus the explicit and implicit costs. Total economic cost is often written simply as total cost or TC. Most instances of profit referred to in an economics course refer to economic profit rather than accounting profit. It also implies that the goal of companies is to maximize economic profit. Economic profit is the measure used to determine a company's overall worth. Economic profit is usually smaller than accounting profit because it includes expenses that are not necessarily directly connected to making a product or providing a service. These implicit costs reduce a company's profit from an economics point of view. Suppose a small phone repair company has a total revenue of $1,000 for one week at the mall. Explicit costs for the week were $400 spent on screen protectors, an implicit cost of $300 from when they pull employees from sales and focus on training employees. The accounting profit is equal to $1,000 minus $400 or $600. However, the economic profit is equal to $1,000 minus explicit costs, which are $400 and the implicit costs, which are $300. The economic profit is only $300, only half as much as the accounting profit. Economic profit can never be greater than accounting profit. In most cases, it is significantly less than accounting profit. Economic profit is typically information shared privately within a company. Thus, it does not affect the decisions of potential investors. If a business makes the right choices, like deciding whether to train employees, it may have lower economic profit for a period of time. But then, they'll move on to having an economic profit much closer to its accounting profit.